What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JB, and we are here today for another review of Sisters on BT, Season 3, Episode 7. The episode is titled Protecting Myself. And yes, you guys, I'm in a better mood today than I was yesterday. Because you guys, if you guys watched my haves and have nots review as well as the review for the Oval, I'm in a better mood today. So, Actually, before we even get into the review, I do want to say one thing. I definitely want to say one thing about Tyler Perry. You know, as much grief as we give him about the writing of the shows that he's, his shows, I want to give him kudos. I don't want to give him credit and I don't want to give him his flowers because he may lack in his writing style. But the one thing that I have to commend him for is the fact that he's hired so many black actors and actresses to work you know on his in his movies his television shows so i have to give him credit for that i definitely have to give him credit for that he's given us some unknown you know actors and actresses and and catapulted them and he's brought some of you know he's brought some actresses from the, you know the 90s and the 2000s back and given them roles so i definitely have to give him credit for that one i definitely can't you know i don't want to just always harp on what's bad i want to definitely talk about what's good with tyler perry and that is definitely something that is truly truly good is the fact that he employs so many black actors and actresses now with that being said you guys if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and not subscribed stop let's stop going on this date you guys let's stop it this date is just not working for me if you can't subscribe you know i'm paying for the meal my meal and you ask me out on a date, yeah, hit the subscribe button, guys. And without without further ado, let's talk about Sisters. This was overall pretty, it wasn't a bad episode. It was much better than the haves and the have-nots, I will say that. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so this episode, it picked up where the last one left off. After Jacoby dropped the bombshell on Sabrina that he was going to file a sexual harassment claim against her, right? So Maurice came over and said, Sabrina, what that bitch say? She says, you heard him. He said I fired him because I wanted him. Okay, Sabrina. And then Maurice says something that is true. You're a manager, Sabrina. You cannot be sleeping with the subordinate. That is true. But here's my issue when it comes to Sabrina, right? Sabrina has suspended him. I'm cool. I was cool. I actually was cool with the suspension, right? But when when it comes to firing people, you have to have something to fire them for. If you've suspended him, then yes, he didn't. Yes, he kind of violated the suspension, but that's not grounds for termination, right? I don't think so. I don't think, right? Is that? It could be. It could be, and it couldn't be. But you would have to. You would. Have, Actually, she just suspended him. She doesn't have a write-up on... I don't even think Sabrina has a write-up on file. I think that's what would hurt Sabrina is the fact that she doesn't have a write-up on file. And he, he... I think that may hurt her, right? So then Maurice asked her... You know, she's like, he came on to me, which that is true. But you didn't turn down his advances. And then you invited him over to... He came over to your apartment. And you let him in. And Maurice said, did he shoot up the club? Maurice, shut up. So then, you know, he says, well, you know, girl, I will get back at him. She's like, how Maurice say that he raped me? Now, Maurice, I don't agree with that one. We're not going to lock up a black man for no reason. We are not going to do that. And Sabrina says she can do that. Yeah, Maurice, we are definitely not about to do that one. So then we see Fatima, right? So Fatima goes to Andy's office and Fatima tells Andy that the, you know, that fine attorney is back. And, so, you know, Fatima... Love, love my girl Fatima, but girl, you're looking thirsty and it ain't a good look. So she was like, so Andy says, well, you know, I'm supposed to go to lunch with the girls. So can you call the girl? She says, yeah, I'll call the girls and I'll tell him to come here. She's like, no, I'll go to him. You call the girls. And she says, call the girls and ask them, you know, to meet me for happy hour. So then we see Fatima as Fatima calls Danny asking, can, you know, she says, you know, Andy said, can you meet her up for happy hour? She's like, oh, yeah, girl. Now, the thing about Danny in this scene that I did not like was when she hung up the phone with Fatima and called her a heifer. 
I'm like, Danny, what the hell? See, I think my issue, my issue with some of the ladies is you guys are taking on things for Karen. Karen ain't got no reason to feel no type of way about Fatima. Like we said before, Fatima didn't know about Karen and Zach. Fatima ain't friends with y'all. One friends with y'all like that before then. So why we got an issue with Fatima? I don't get it. It's so stupid, right? But let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. So Andy goes into the um, our boardroom and Robert is there. That's the attorney's name. So he says, you know, I talked to my client and she is ready to talk settlement, right? And and it's like, okay, that's good. So let's talk here. He's like, oh no, let's do dinner. She's like, no, we can talk here. He kept saying, let's do dinner. I'm like, um, dude, hey, can you not take the hint? She said no. And then do you not see that big ass ring on her finger? She t And then she tells him, I'm engaged. He says, oh, so you think it's like that? Duh, dude, it's like that. So then she says, you know, well, you know, if we were two associates and we were friends, then maybe I would go with you, but we're not friends. He stood up and says, okay, well, my name is Robert and I would like to be your friend. So then this dumb fool agrees to go to dinner with him. I'm like, girl, you know, you got to just, you and Gary just got into it about Paris that you actually had sex with. You ain't even done nothing with Robert yet. And Gary is going to flip his lid when he finds out about this. Gary is going to flip his lid. So then Fatima, um, she came back in after he left out. Still being thirsty. I'm like, oh, God, Fatima, you looking really bad, my sister. So then we see Fatima. So she goes back to her office, right? And then Hayden comes in. And she, he tells her, you look nice today. She's like, I know. And um, what else happened? I don't know what else happened. But Hayden left her office, went to his office, called someone by the name of Dion to tell Dion to call Zach. Can we keep going? Yeah, we can keep going. So then Dion calls Zach, right? And Dion tells Zach that they don't have enough projects and they will have to put him into another pool of guys, right? So then Danny comes up to Zach and she's asking him, what you doing, Zach? <sighs> Danny, Danny, Danny. So she was like, you know, you want to take me to lunch? He was like, no, Danny. She was, he's like, um, I don't have any money. She says, you had a lot of money. You had a lot of money yesterday. He says, yes, but I lost that money. Yep, Zach, you are a dummy. You trusted that um, that white devil. Um, So he tells her, you know, like when it comes down to him and trying to get his life together, you know, it just goes bad. And then she says, yeah, because you're a fuck up. I'm like, Danny, that is that's the issue. Like. That's why he he likes Fatima so much. Fatima, if if he was talking to Fatima about this, Fatima wouldn't put him down. Fatima would lift him up. Like, if my friend sit here and says, you know, anytime I try to get my life together, it just doesn't go right. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, because you're a colossal you're a colossal mess. I'm gonna be like, you know what, what's wrong? Like, you know, what happened? Like, tell me what's up. But he eventually does, he he got mad at her. And, you know, he tells her, you know, you try to talk about, you know, me being a fuck up, but your life ain't no better than mine, which it really ain't. So then he does tell her about, you know, him losing his money on the stock. And she honestly, Danny was of no help at all. And then he, she was like, what, what was it? Because he, he told her how much money it was. Then she mentioned chain breakers. He says, I got a not so random call from chain breakers about letting him go. And the thing is, Danny gave him a backhand. Danny was giving him backhanded compliments. She would give him a compliment, but then she would take a dig at him. And I just wasn't appreciative of that, honestly. I'm going to move on. Child, Sabrina finna get on my nerves. So we see Sabrina, right? So Sabrina is still at the bank and she's sulking at this point. And I'm like, Sabrina, you're sulking, but you're the, you put yourself in a situation. You knew you were his manager. Like, you put yourself in a situation that you didn't have to put yourself in. So, I don't really 100% feel bad for her. So, Maurice comes in and she tells Maurice she's going to be meeting with the girls, right? And she's just upset that Jacoby is lying on her. And she wonders why he's doing it. I'm like, girl, it's obvious. He's doing this for money. Like, what you think? And Maurice says he's doing it for money. She's like, but I don't have anything. He says, but the bank does. He's going to sue. He's going to either sue the bank or tell the bank he's going to sue them in order to get a what? A payout. Sabrina's dumb as crap. Oh, God. 
And then Maurice once again tells her, I told you what to do. She says, no, Maurice, I'm not going to do that, which I'll give her that. Please don't do that. So she's like, Maurice tells her, well, come out for a drink. She's like, I'm going out with the girls. He said, girl, come out with me. So then we see Andy. Andy asks Fatima to gather all the files because she's going to have dinner with Robert. And Fatima says, ask her, you know, have you told Gary? She's like, I'm not going to tell Gary. It's just business. And you also know that Gary is a nutcase. So Fatima says, well, I think you should tell him. And she says, now is not a good time. And she's like, what's going on? She says, no, what's going on with you? And, you know, she talks about Zach. She tells her Zach came up. She's like, is that why he came in here? She's like, yeah, girl, he came in here. He was begging. But he also put it down on me. So then Andy asks her, what does she want with Zach? She says, I want to fuck him. And then she says, um, well, do you like him? She says, no. She says, well, the way that you lit up when you were talking about, you know, what he does for you says otherwise. And then, um, you know, Fatima's like, you, he, hey, he's done this before with Karen, right? She's like, I'm not at liberty to talk about that or whatever. But she says, you know, your, your situation is kind of similar to mine with Gary Girl. No, it is not at all. Nothing, nothing screams no, 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 no. So then Fatima, you know, tells her she'll set up the date for um her and Robert. She'll sit them in the back. And she, Andy's like, oh, no, Andy doesn't sit in the back. Andy might want to sit in the back. So then Fatima tells Andy to read up on him. And she thinks he, you know, she thinks he likes Andy, which he does. And she says, um, but I'm with Gary. Girl, that don't mean a lick of squat. So then she asks her to go to her house and pick up a dress for her and some heels. And she says, I'll call Gary and I'll tell him I'll be late. Mm. Well, she called Gary, right? And she tells Gary, hey, babe. Hey, babe. So I'm going out with the girls and I won't be home until around 10. But how was your day? He says, you know, he um, he had a long session and then she wants to talk about the session and Gary was cutting her. You know, Gary didn't want to talk about it. He shut her down. I'm like, Andy, here are some more red flags. You know, Andy sees, I think Andy sees red flags, but then she just says, hey, that's blue. Nope, that's orange. Nope, that's purple. Like Andy sees all the red flags, but she just turns them to different colors. Dumb. Dumb as hell. Oh, wow, so I got more to go. Let's move on. All right, you guys, let's see where we at now. So then let's move over to Zach, right? So Zach and Danny, they went for lunch and he thanks Danny for the food and for talking to him. And, you know, she says um, that you just should have told me from the beginning, which is true. But Danny, you you were coming down hard on a man, so I can't fault him for not telling you. So then she tells him, you know, she likes Preston, but she wants space from Preston. And he says, you know, well, why don't you just tell Preston that? She says he's a sensitive man and, he, you know, she thinks he'll have hurt feelings. Well, I'd rather him be have hurt feelings than you feeling like you're walking on eggshells around a man. Girl, Danny makes no sense. So then his phone rings. He's like, oh, is that Fatima? Like, I can see Fatima on your phone. And then she asks him if they're cutting. Girl, why does that got to do with you? It's frustrating. Like, what the hell does that have to do with you? So then he answers the phone, right? And, you know, um, Fatima asks him how his day, he says, as well as can be expected, right? And he says, you know, he should have been open with her. And she apologizes. She says, you know, you were right. I was been a bit of a bitch. And then he mentions her about chain breakers. And he tells her that they called him saying that they have too many guys. And he tells her, do you think your boy, he asked her, do you think your boy's behind it? He says, you know what? Yeah, your boy's behind it. And she says, if he is, I will fuck him up. Then she tells him, um, you know, she'll call Chamber. She's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't do that. Like, don't do that. So then she says, okay, well, I'll be at home by 830. I want you to come by. He says, I'm taking a double. She says, Zach, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, be at my house by 8.30. I'm like, oh, that, actually kind of, that was actually kind of a turn on. So then after she hangs up with Zach, she calls Hayden. She apologized to Hayden about earlier, right? And he apologized to her. She asked him to come over to her house at 8.30. I'm like, what the hell does Fatima have planned? Interesting. She says, come over at 8.30 so they can work things out. He says, okay, I'll go home and I'll take a shower and I'll come through. My boy, I don't know if you realize it or not, but you're getting played like a fiddle. So then we see Maurice and Sabrina. They are at the bar, at the gay bar, and she's still on her feelings. I'm like, girl, get out of them feelings. 
So then the bartender tells Maurice, hey, Maurice, I heard about you with Q. He's like, bitch, what are you talking about? So then the bartender spill, you know, tells um, Sabrina what happened with Q about him stealing. You know, he gets he gets people to like him. He goes home with them. He steals from them. But instead of Maurice turning him into the cops, Maurice had a conversation with him. And then, you know, she, um, Sabrina and Maurice are talking, right? And Maurice tells her, you know, I, I just understood him because, you know, my mom put me out at 14 and he came up under his um, his gay drag mother. He was put out at 14. Um, I realize I'm going kind of fast. But let's move on. I hope this is a lengthy video. I realize I'm moving fast. All right, you guys, let's talk about Karen and Pam. So Perrin and Perrin, Perrin, Cam and Perrin, Cam, Pam and Karen. Dang, get your words together. They close up the shop, right? So Karen tells Pam that she's getting ready to go out with the girls for drinks. And Pam, Pam is just as, you know, she is flam as flamboyant as Maurice is. You know, she talks with her hands like this and stuff. Her hands, it'd be her hands or her nails, the way she talks. It just be, she just be doing all of that. So she tells her, so you going out like that? Like, you're not going to clean up your, you know, you got that hair all over. You're not going to clean up nothing like that. But she eventually talks Karen into cleaning up, right? So then there's a guy that's knocking outside of the door, right? And, you know, she's like, we're closed, right? <laughs> oh, my God. This was because I'm, I'm laughing at the preview for next week's episode, right? So the man kept knocking. She's like, we're closed. I'm like, Karen, you are stupid if you don't realize what the hell is going on. So he had an envelope in his hand and then he slid it up under the door. I'm like, uh-uh, Karen, don't, don't touch that. Even Pam told her, girl, don't touch that. That could have Corona in it. Now, that part was funny. I'm like, Karen, you are stupid. That is a subpoena. Like, that is a subpoena. You know, how, I wonder how, how I would do if somebody wanted to subpoena me. Like, if they came up to me and said my name. I'd be like, who wants to know? Who, who wants to know? Are you him? Who wants to know? Can I still subpoena you if you if you don't say? Um, I don't know who that. If you if you say I don't know who that is, then they can't really subpoena you, can they? But if you question them, like, who wants to know? Is that is that technically answering a question when you get subpoenaed? Let me, I don't know. That's an interesting one. But Karen was stupid because she got served. I was trying to figure out who served her. I thought it might have been, you know, Aaron's family his in-laws right so then at the end of the episode we see danny i was like what in the hell does danny have on she looked a hot damn mess and then presence in her telling her she looks good i'm like a lot don't care who tell it so then she tells him she's going out with the girls right and he asked her how was her day she says about the same old same old. so he's like so you're not going to ask me about my day she's like your day's probably the same so then she tells him she she mimics him he asked her if she can't she say she so she can't stay for dinner as well. Mm. Here's the thing, because she told him his day is the same every day. I'm like, how long have they been together at this point? Have they even been together a full week? Okay. Whatever. So then at the end of the episode we see Fatima. So Fatima went over to Andy's place to get, you know, the dress and the heels. Now while she's in there. She hears some moaning coming from the bedroom. I'm like, oh, shoot. Who is Gary in that room with? Girl, please don't say it's that crazy ass Jasmine. Mm. Let's move. That's it, you guys. Um, Like the video. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button. Um, Like the video, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Um, Until the next one, you guys, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear a mask or not. Whichever one you guys do, do be safe, be blessed, and I'll see you guys later.